Vladimir Vladimirovich Putin born October 7, 1952 is a Russian politician and former intelligence officer serving as the current president of Russia. Putin has served continuously as president or prime minister since 1999, as prime minister from 1999 to 2000 and from 2008 to 2012. And as president from 2000 to 2008 and since 2012. Putin worked as a KGB foreign intelligence officer for 16 years, rising to the rank of lieutenant colonel before resigning in 1991 to begin a political career in St. Petersburg. He moved to Moscow in 1996 to join the administration of President Boris Yeltsin. He briefly served as director of the Federal Security Service FSB and secretary of the Security Council of Russia. Before being appointed as prime minister in August 1999. After the resignation of Yeltsin, Putin became acting president of Russia and, less than four months later, was elected outright to his first term as president. He was re-elected in 2004. As he was constitutionally limited to two consecutive terms as president at the time, Putin served as prime minister again from 2008 to 2012 under Dmitry Medvedev. He returned to the presidency in 2012 in an election marred by allegations of fraud and protests and was re-elected in 2018. In April 2021, following a referendum, he signed into law constitutional amendments including one that would allow him to run for re-election twice more, potentially extending his presidency to 2036. During Putin's first tenure as president, the Russian economy grew on average by 7% per year, following economic reforms and a five-fold increase in the price of oil and gas. Putin also led Russia during a war against Chechen separatists, re-establishing federal control of the region. As prime minister under Medvedev, he oversaw a war against Georgia as well as military and police reform. During his third term as president, Russia annexed Crimea and sponsored a war in eastern Ukraine with several military incursions made, resulting in international sanctions and a financial crisis in Russia. He also ordered a military intervention in Syria to support Russian ally Bashar al-Assad in the Syrian civil war, eventually securing a deal that granted permanent naval bases in the eastern Mediterranean. In 2017, Putin dispatched Russian PMCs to back the Tadera regime in the Central African Republic civil war, gaining a permanent military presence in return. In early 2022, Russian troops massed on the border of Ukraine. With US and UK authorities warning an invasion of Ukraine was imminent. This was denied by the Kremlin but on February 25 Russian armored units entered Ukraine. Putin claimed it was a special military operation, but heavy fighting and shelling began on Ukraine's major cities Kiev and Kharkiv. In response to the illegal invasion, Western countries imposed severe economic sanctions on Russia, which led to a sharp drop in the ruble and Russian stock market. Many analysts were surprised at the reckless gamble taken by Putin as it leaves the country increasingly isolated and an international pariah after being excluded from major sporting and cultural events as well as economic sanctions. Under Putin's leadership, Russia has undergone democratic backsliding and a shift to authoritarianism. His rule has been characterized by endemic corruption as well as numerous human rights violations, including the jailing and repression of political opponents, the intimidation and suppression of independent media in Russia, and a lack of free and fair elections. 21, 22, 23, Putin's Russia has scored poorly on Transparency International's Corruption Perceptions Index. The Economist Intelligence Unit's Democracy Index, and Freedom House's Freedom in the World Index. Putin is the second longest currently serving European president after Alexander Lukashenko of Belarus. In July 2022, director of the US Central Intelligence Agency, William Burns, stated they had no evidence to suggest Putin was unstable or in bad health. The statement was made because of increasing unconfirmed media speculation about Putin's health. Burns had previously been U.S. ambassador to Russia and had personally observed Putin for over two decades, including a personal meeting in November 2021. A Kremlin spokesperson also dismissed rumors of Putin's bad health as fake. The Russian political magazine Sobosetnik alleged in 2018 that Putin had a sensory room installed in his private residence in the Novgorod Oblast. The White House, as well as Western generals, politicians, and political analysts, have questioned Putin's mental health after two years of isolation during the COVID-19 pandemic. In April 2022, The Sun reported, based on video footage, that Putin may have Parkinson's disease. This speculation, which has not been supported by medical professionals, has spread in part due to Russia's invasion of Ukraine, which many saw as an irrational act. 
the Kremlin rejected the possibility of Parkinson's along with outside medical professionals, who stressed that it is impossible to diagnose the condition based on video clips alone.